Buffy, can you welcome folks back to the toy barn? Say hi guys, welcome back to the toy barn. <laughs> Good evening everyone and welcome back to the Toy Barn. My name is Darren and my wife Kathy is right over there to my left as usual. Happy Tuesday. Oh, that's your left. All right. <laughs> but today guys, whoa, 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 whoa. You had to figure that I want to make sure I wasn't wrong because, you know, I'm backwards to them, so it's probably right to them. You you're, know how they're, right, yeah, I'm trying right. to you're trying right. to figure my my worlds out here. You're right, you are backwards. Anyway, <laughs> right. go ahead. anyway, guys, we're going to be moving on. We did really well today, and we're very thankful. Over the last night, last night, and then today, today we are shooting. This is Tuesday, but they're going to be seen on when? Tuesday. No. Yes. Are we that far ahead? Yes. Oh wow. Today is today is Monday. For tomorrow is Tuesday. They will see it tomorrow. They will see it tomorrow. Okay, so I'm backwards. I'm totally backwards. Again, that shows you. My numbers same. are messed up, guys. Too many dates ahead, too many days behind, right? Yes. But anyway, we're going on to the video, making it right, right? Let's hope it ain't left. But anyway, Go ahead. we have done great. Whatever day of the week this is, and whenever you see it, we have done great today, and we're very thankful for you guys that are our buyers, and we're thank you, thanking you guys also that are our fellow sellers that have been commenting and talking to us about various things, whether it be in the, the uh, reseller group that we have, or that it's right on these tapes. We appreciate your thoughts and your comments, and yeah, for you guys that have said prayers out to you, I appreciate that too, because we can never have enough of anything, right? That's so right. <laughs> we're thankful for all you guys. But today, Kathy, she told me we sewed on all four of the sites. Yes. All four sites hit off. That means Madcap Toys, Madcap Toys Plus, the Junior. That means Poshmark. And that means Macari. Now, I'm going to say something for a minute or two. Macari has, as you guys that are out there that are fellow sellers know, they've started to integrate, or at the time of this, I believe they're almost totally done integrating uh, Japan's market in with ours. I don't know if uh, we can, I know we can see Japan's, but I don't know if they can see ours. So if you know better, put it out in the comments there for me. But guys, I have seen that since they've been working on the site, the sales have just died over the last couple of weeks. Have you, you've seen I it, agree, right? Totally. Um, thankfully today we had one shoot off. We had a uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago. I can't remember which we had one shoot off, but usually we was doing almost equal numbers and sometimes better. We had Macari beat eBay at least two to three times this last year, which is really um, sad seeing as eBay is like 50 times bigger, right? right. But um, Macari has sort of up and died on us a little bit. So you guys that are uh, Macari sellers, let us know what you're thinking about it. But uh, Macari, if you watch this video, because I know you watch for the tags, um, hey, get the site where it works because, you know, um, we make money when the site is working and if it's not working it really doesn't make a lot of sense for us sellers to put onto the site if you're going to push all the sales somewhere else it's true we're in the united states focus on america for this site please at least here if you got somewhere else that's fine i don't mind cross selling around the world but guys i think that since we're putting on the most we ought to get the most credit as in us sellers in the United States because that's the way eBay does. They always take care of everybody else first and the U.S. is last. Well, that, I mean, it kind of coincides because, like you said, uh, just a few years ago, they put a lot of money into the Super Bowl to advertise for the United States. Yeah. And now you're kind of saying, hey, everybody, buy from Japan. Yeah. And you guys that are into the international markets as it is and trade and all that will understand what I'm saying here. Football in the U.S. means one thing. Football in the world overall means basically soccer, okay? Soccer in our rating of sports here is like five light years down from football, all right? Now, that don't mean people don't like soccer, people don't play soccer, and it's no attack or diminishing anybody that likes or plays it, but it's a different sport in a different world. So if you're going to hit us at the biggest venue we have going in the United States most of the time, uh, I would think you'd want to concentrate your firepower in that zone but guys let me know what you think about your sales on macari have they been up have they been down have they been about the same because i'm going to tell you last two weeks we've seen a trend that is not to our liking and it sort of tamps down your desire to put on a site that's just sort of dying it's like a bucket of cold water yeah it is and if you're working hard and you're working like we do eight to ten hours a day depending on what the job is because we're right out here what time did you check the clock i know it's past six it is 
610 Eastern 610 time. Eastern time. So if you're out here working at that time in the evening, then you guys sort of get what we're saying. But guys, um, Kathy, how many did we have today? Did you count? I count them. Go ahead. Okay, so let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make yep, sure on all sites. So we've had another nine day, and it doesn't really mean we've only had nine a day, guys. There's some. We had three that we shipped out a little bit earlier this week that we forgot to mention yesterday in the last video. But we get some that have to go out early in the morning, so we get those up and out, and sometimes we forget to mention those. But not just that, guys. Um, we get a lot that come in later in the evening. Like I said, it's past 6 p.m. here, so whatever happens later tonight, hopefully it'll be for a video tomorrow. And we try to keep this anywhere from 9 to 20 items in our showing so that we don't make a video that, you know, could be 20, 30 minutes uh, up to an hour and some, because I know some of you guys have so much to do. You guys that work in a, sh a toy barn, as it was, or a shed, or whatever the case is, I know you like those videos because it helps you work, because it helps me too. And I watch some fellow resellers as well, and we're sort of friends with, as it was. But guys, uh, I thank you for your time. Thank you for visiting us. I'm going to pass it off to Kathy real <laughs> quick, because Kathy's got things to do, and we got to get these out for our people tomorrow. Right, right, absolutely. Hey guys, Mac Have Toys here. You are back in the toy barn. I hope you've seen it. And I hope after this video, when I get to editing it, that it happened. But you guys saw a sneak peek of Buffy and she welcomed you back in the toy barn. So she got a peek in there? We got a sneak peek just a few seconds. She kind of turned around. Then I thought, oh, I hope she does a cameo and she kind of like was doing her own thing. So I kind of shut it off. But hopefully I've got that in there in the very beginning. So you got to kind of see her there. Uh, again, like you said, nine items going out. Uh, everything kind of shut off, which is good because we were kind yeah. of worried a little bit about Makari, like you said. Um, What's well, dead? It's been dead. It's been dead for us. I don't understand it. We have over 8,500 items on there. Plus, he has been listing and we have been listing on it. Um, I don't get it. Well, so I'm going to be we'll honest. I've out. tapered back a lot. I, I used to, to try to go one by one. In other words, one eBay, one Macari. Yeah. It's not worth it. I've cut it down to 20%. And at this rate, because of what it's been doing over the last yeah. two weeks, I've cut it down to only 10% of my listings that I place on eBay. And, I, and yeah, you know I true. don't dual list. Right. And so it's kind of like that for me, too. Dealing with the new side, I haven't helped him with his, the, the Godfather side, but the new side. But also, I've been, instead of Macari being second, Macari, as of late, has been third, so I've been going to Poshmark yeah. and then Macari. We go where the money is. That's going where, where the money is yeah. there. So let's get started. But before we begin, if you haven't already, what are you doing? <laughs> Subscribe to the Mad Cap Toys family. <laughs> Picture taking, right? I don't know what he means, but we want you to be a part of us. Also, you got to hit the bell for all notifications because each and every time we upload content, of course, you're going to be the first to know. And you know we love comments. Thank you to each and every one of you giving us those comments and that input. We appreciate, we appreciate you. it, guys. We really do. All right. Let's get started, shall we? We shall. Let's start out with Metcap Toys Plus. Came in, did, did some things there. What'd the baby do? The baby Metcap Toys Plus. Sold an item that I believe just kind of needed some TLC. Yeah. So we gave a little offer on this one because look how beat up, right? Did you say that it was... That come from a pallet. Okay. So this particular item came from a pallet buy. As we've stated in previous videos, when you buy pallet items, they're not always going to be pristine, beautiful, no. right off the shelf. You're going to get some some of these kind where they've got bumps and bruises and all of the well, like. Well, most will be mint sealed. Yeah. At least are... Uh, Majority. History with them, unless you buy it unopened. But most of them are mint sealed, yeah. but they have some scuffs yeah, or this some one's, dings or wear. This one's got some shadowing. The yeah. box, if, if you were a collector and are very particular about the boxes, this would not be one that you would be buying. Yeah, if it's for your kid or if, for a stop motion enthusiast, that would be If someone was going to take it yeah. out of the box, perfection. <laughs> yeah. But if you were wanting it because of the box quality, this wouldn't be one of them. But we, we did a pretty good deal. Someone asked a deal on it, and I took it because of the fact of how bad the box was. So Mac Cup Toys Plus, Hasbro, Star Wars, the Black Series, Thin, Jaku or Jack, Jaku, I don't know what that means. Jaku. Jaku. Action figure that's found on Adam's shelf. Okay, the planet. Okay, yeah, that's the know. planet where the movie supposedly took place. Good to know. Adam shelf three going out to Jacob. Hey there, Jacob. For five dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping to boot. shipping to boot, and you think, wow, this usually goes for upwards of you know fifteen, nineteen, right. etc. Again, the box I wanted to get rid of it. I want better quality, 
in my stash, and so I wanted well, to make a deal. Fellow sellers that will know they could get those a lot of times, especially at Walmart yep. or let's say Target, will know at one time some of those were going anywhere from $19 and change to $29 and change. Because let's say if you got it at GameStop or wherever the case right. is, right? They some of them would have their own exclusive, but they'd also have these non-exclusive salted in, so, salted in. So you'd have to watch out that you'd get the ones that are exclusive. Right. But uh, you know, that's nothing new, right? I exactly. Mean, <laughs> this came from a palette item as well from Target. I had to kind of figure out what it was. I was clueless, but it is actually, if you look into the picture. It is a starting line, finish line, reversible. So I think the one side says start, um, and the other side says finish. But something you could do if you know you're having a race go on, what have you, obstacle course, all right. of that. So it was basically in the Target Bullseye Playground kind of thing. Uh, so this is the blue reversible start finish line, 70 inch by 10 inch banner. And I do have, I don't know the exact quantity because Macari doesn't tell me, but I think I have a few more of these laying around more. somewhere. Okay. Um, and this one here in particular, and I have to view the order here. <laughs> Love it when they don't tell me. Because um, I don't have the app. You're going to have but to the get description. <laughs> it's hard to put that. I have so many apps. For my job there's no way it's full with apps and eating out apps and it's just crazy so view order and it's going out to karen i found you karen <laughs> thanks so much for six dollars and 99 cents not too bad going out to you in the am but yeah perfect for those kind of things when you're doing a race they can hang it up over your head uh whether it's marathon or obstacle course whatever kind of race it is these are great signs to kind of put up i i believe that she would have to get i don't know if it includes the string verse has the start line finish line i don't think it does but i mean you yeah. can find some easy some jute or some rope or something yeah. to put in those big holes right here and be able to hang it up so I'd say, perfect i'd say walmart probably a good place to do that crafting stores yeah. walmart walmart whatever Hobby target Hobby. etc yeah definitely or Michael's. Well, yeah, that works too. All right, so Makari gave us one of those, you know, yay, but it's got to do better than that to get those weekly payouts, right, guys? Ooh, yeah, for sure. That means thank you in German. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. All right. Uh, it just hit me at the right time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danke. Okay. Um,. All right, and Poshmark, here we go. So we did have one, and I hung it up over here. I have 49 of these. Now, I don't have, because Darren's going to go, what kind of sizes? Do you have 49 in small? Well, no. I have 49 of these left, but in various sizes. Don't know how many small I have left. Okay. I got that figured out. How All right. medium? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Just, you know what? I should just check it out in the eBay, yeah, Poshmark, the Macari right. links, and they will have the numbers if you're curious. All right. Wild Fable Black Cropped Hoodie. Brand new with tag, as you know. Um, I sell a lot of Wild Fable, a lot of New Day, a lot of Universal Thread, a lot of, a lot of. So um, here's the tag. It's kind of hiding. It was hung up in our storage here. And, of course, if you went out to the store, you would have to pay, wow, goodness, $18 to buy this cropped hoodie. And that's size small, right? And size small. Okay. And this one's going out to Jen Sud One. <laughs> and it sold for ten dollars. So right. not too bad. Very, not very good. Not quite fifty percent, but, but pretty think, close. Yeah. Saved money. We made money, right? And after fees, mm. after that what, two dollar ninety five cent fee or what have yep. you. Made a killing, so made four times back what it, we paid for this. So, right, it's worth Very it. Good job going out to you in the AM. And yes, it is. Uh, this is being taped for Tuesday, Darren. You okay, thank you night. very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. He'll, he'll get it one of these days, guys. He well, if I can will. keep my mind out of the other dates, I'm working on it. You'll be fine. <laughs> All right, and this little guy, I had to go through a, a tote twice for him because Darren has hundreds in a box. But I found him after the second uh, time. Two boxes. Right, but I had to go through two boxes and go through box number Both one them? the second time. Oh, my. It was horrible. It was an emotional time. It sort of helps to know what you're looking but for. But adorable. Uh, the same. This is a 2011 Heroclix. I knew. A 2011 Wiz 
Heroclix WizKids, uh, Microsoft Master Chief. Oh. Found in Heroclix 1, even though Darren put Heroclix box, but not tell me one well, or two. I didn't two. have a two at the time. Well, you do now. All right. <laughs> Going out to Carlos. Thank you so much, Carlos, for $4.50. And that's a really cool looking figure. It's by very the way, good, you know. yeah. Definitely could stand out. Um, very, very, very nice. Very, one of those very of the many nice ones. And Darren, you know, you're still making a uh, profit here. Yes, I am. On that yard sale buy of that, uh, of all those manuals you bought in a box. Yeah. It's paying off. Darren sold the Volkswagens ones. I've sold uh, He sold the Hanes yeah. ones. And now he's selling out the Chevrolet Camaro Pontiac firebird one so he's got some more hanes i think you got four or five left of various kinds. one or two of these but yeah. you also got a bunch of hanes tutorials as yeah, well yeah, so very nice very uh, detailed very detailed yeah. chevrolet camaro pontiac firebird 1993 through 2000 making sure i'm right there yep uh hanes repair manual and they and tyson took advantage of the 12 percent off coupon at mac Cap toys somebody's got a firebird yep Sold for twelve dollars and ninety eight cents. Not awesome. too bad. And like I said, you paid what for that box again? I paid uh, well. Um, I think by the time I got done, it was. I think we paid like twenty five bucks for all of it, and I had multiple items in there. So, so you had multiple items plus a bunch it, of manuals as well. It, yeah, it worked out to like a buck a, a piece. It worked okay. Um, so you so, sold yeah. it for twelve ninety eight plus ship. And, and there were some things I told them I don't want because they just had so many greasy fingers on it. Yeah, it and was. And the pages were, you know, wet and dampish looking. It so I was, was like, I don't want that. In a lot of yeah, storage. So we did so, some wheel and But we looked through these. Yeah. We knew these would be good enough. And so far, the ones that we've got shipped, they were are super happy about. Uh, but for twelve ninety eight and only paying a buck. You got you well. Know, you got I, I won't back, say sure. they're pristine, but they're pretty no, close. They were used by a mechanic yeah. for sure. There's no yeah. doubt about it. I mean, it. some of them have a little bit of what I call oily hand. Fingers. The great thing about it yeah. is we showed it in the description, so that's yeah. all that matters. All right, and also, you know, Madcap Toys sell sporting goods yes. every once in a There's while. A soccer ball. And uh, this is the 2018. I have one more of these if you're interested. 2018 Wilson NCAA Gold Series soccer ball. Um, and it's found in the shed of course going out to donna hey there donna thank you so much for 17 dollars and 58 cents awesome very very nice so we do sell sporting goods we got soccer balls we have footballs and we have volleyballs and all the like Man, so we're probably we're always looking out pick please. a few more up this week if, yeah. if we can get a good you deal you just off. never know when that happens okay and moving ahead darren's starting to sell his from a CD pile. He sold a Rod Stewart one yes, last I did. week, and uh, today pretty good praise, haven't we? Today is Brandon Lee the Crow, yep. right? Uh, so the Crow original soundtrack by various artists CD from 1994. Going out to Hugo. Hey there, Hugo. Thank you so much for four dollars and forty eight cents. He bad. asked if it had the UPC on the back, and it does. It do. Yeah, but like I said, we've been. We've been getting some pretty good praise mm -hmm. on those CDs and yeah. DVDs that we've been selling. It's, and even my LPs, I actually had the old man come by and ask how we've been doing on those LPs. I told him pretty good. Yeah, um, we still have know, quite I've a few. I've got a couple things I'm going to show yet. and see if mom or Don likes, you know, how that goes. But, yeah. you know, it's mostly books and stuff for them. That they're but, I mean, a lot of it, like I said, is not listed yet. <clears throat> so we can't really we say can't if they're going or coming because yeah. we're still... Darren and I in the last 24 hours have been putting listing on a lot of the Blu-rays we just bought uh, yesterday uh, in a couple yesterday it would have been. Well, it'd be yesterday and uh, Saturday, mm -hmm. right? Saturday, well, Saturday and Sunday would yes. be your few days ago, but and also he's been listing some cassette tapes, excitingly. Right. So, yep. Where we've been focusing on that. That are interested in music, you will want to see that. But the the LPs that I've got, right, and the. Uh, some of the, uh, well, it's mostly LPs, but also, what is it, um, CDs. Right. I got everything from bluegrass to country to rock. The whole bit, rap, the whole you nine, name it. The whole nine We got yards, it. Yeah. All right, from Dark Horse <clears throat> Comics. Thank you, Darren, for finding this because I went through it and I couldn't see it. Found one zine and one, but not this particular one. So sometimes it takes two to, to get it there, right? It happens. To get it to to get it to the finish line. That's all that matters. <laughs> Dark Horse Comic Xena Warrior Princess Number Four Comic Book. It was found in Odds and Ends Tote Two. Going out to Alexander. Hey there, Alexander. Thanks so much. 
for five dollars and uh looks like darren only paid a buck at yeah. the comic, well i wonder at a comic i piece. wonder now that doesn't truly mean that in case i took and reused the he sleeve. could have he could have possibilities it's, we have over 1200 yeah. comics yeah. Plus. a lot of times i will reuse the sleeve so. uh and give out fresh ones if we sell another comic right um but I also, yeah. But also, too, we we have them always bagged, always bore, yes. aborted, and always put in a Gemini comic mailer. It'd be no a cold what. day before we don't. And, but it has happened because we've run out of supplies. Like I told him, we're you gonna know. have to get more supplies. We have some, but there are different sizes. Yep. We didn't know that going in. We no, thought we did not. All comics had right. different size, yep. same size, same everything. It, that's not Generations. true. But uh, so. I'm pretty proud. Uh, how much more we got on that, babe? We got one more to go. One more. Okay. So you're going to be quiet so I can get the one more? I will, I will try. <laughs> i tell you what. I'm he's, excited. He's a chatterbird. We were talking at the yard sale, and all <laughs> of a sudden, because, you know, the, our Travis, our friend, if you're watching Travis, hey, you were counting all of the, you know, the yeah, Blu-rays and the cassettes, and I'm staring at Darren going, you need to be quiet, because he's trying to carefully count, because we had a lot, right, in those last we two days. Had a lot. And Darren would just say, okay, I'll be quiet. And then all of a sudden, in, two seconds later, he started bursting out something else. I'm like, ah! Leave him alone. Well, but, but, I mean, you gotta look at it. It was time. I know. And you know, I did good. I bought him a drink. I got his he baby did. a drink. He did. And, and food. And, well, well you, yeah, you but went Travis paid for, he the paid for the food. He paid for the food, but we went and got it. But you know, I but, had a good time. But I know. But you're a chatterbird. I, I got that from I, dad. Yeah, at least from. Tr I mean, at least till they get everything counted, then you can talk. But he was just chatterbird there. All right. At the very end, we found in the coin desk. You, it's. The picture one didn't do it justice. No, it didn't. It didn't. But even so, it does. It's not as sharp, but it's a very fine Morgan, mm -hmm. so it's gonna not be well, sharp. Well, it's not sharp. really a high grade anyway. Kind of, kind yeah. of dim there. But it's the 1892 O. What's O stand for? Orleans. He did it. Orleans. New Orleans. Ninety percent silver Morgan dollar. Very fine. Found in the coin desk. Going out to Gregory. Hi there, Gregory. Thanks so much. For fifty-two dollars and seventy-eight cents plus shipping to boot, and he did get a discount, to and he got a discount. Yeah, because we do have a twelve percent discount at Madcap Toys. Yep. Now Madcap Toys Plus has a discount of what? Ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah. So we are sort of we're not. I'm not going to say we're rolling back the discounts right now, but we're no. sort of tapering it because we're heading towards the hot season, well, and we don't want the good stuff going out before the season hits for those that are our normal customers. Right. But if you look up on the right, this is what I'm going to say. For I forgot you still had a coin. I got that much up today. That's amazing. Nope. Look at the day. Two hundred nine dollars. That's great. Two plus what we did last week. And most of that was what? Uh, it's mostly Blu-rays, mm -hmm. a few DVDs. Um. I don't, I think that maybe a couple of CDs. Okay, I that's think. $209.62 that he put on today. But that was all Blu-ray CDs? No, yeah. no coins, My nothing No like coins. That? My high end wow. on the DVDs and see all that stuff, I'm just saying everything, okay? Uh, I'm not saying a particular thing, but everything. My high end was like $29 because one was really good. Mm -hmm. I got a $19 in there, but the rest was four, five, and six. Wow. Can't complain on that, folks. Not, not and bad at all. Some of them are free shipping. Very, very good. So yeah. he's got that down. So yeah, so that you pulled it off very really good. Did you find in the DVDs and Blu-rays and cassettes? Did you find any ones that had more favor than the average price? Yes, that's the ones I was telling you about. The twenty-nine, the nineteen. Okay. Some are. I'm not gonna say exclusive. But they've got so many bonus features. They've got like three or four discs in them. Uh, I've also got several that I've got lined up tomorrow if I can get them pictured. Okay. Mint sealed. Oh, wow. So, there you go. You know, those guys always go up. I had one that if I would have sold it, what my competitors are selling, they have marked it up to $49.98. I have mine at $29.98. Nice. So, and free ship. Nice. So, you know, yeah. I'm just here to make money, of course, but yes. to get it out because it don't do me any good just sitting there. That's right. Fantastic. And, you know, as it grows, I know you've got plans. and noticed that I've some of them have been on Olivia's yeah. shelf four, which we're going to try to move we'll around while I work on things. Tonight, though, once this ends, I've got to pack these things up for the AM. I've got early AM for office tomorrow, but also as well i got to edit this particular video to make sure you guys see it today. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, you got anything else to no, share? No, I'm pretty good. I'm trying to be quiet. 
Darren's got to eat some supper. Got to do it. I'm going to eat a snack. <laughs> then I'm going to have to get these packed ready and shipped to the AM and get this video so you guys can see it yeah. on time uh, for, for your Tuesday. So, we appreciate those comments and those yes. thumbs up. We love you guys. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.